Chapter 4 Luke found out what Mother meant a few days later when he came down for breakfast. As usual, he opened the door from the back stairs to the kitchen only a crack. He could remember barely a handful of times in his entire life when someone had dropped by before breakfast, and each time Mother had managed to send Matthew or Mark up to warn Luke to stay out of sight. But he always checked. Today he could see Dad and Matthew and Mark at the table and knew from the sound of frying bacon that Mother must be at the stove. Are the shades closed? He called softly. Mother opened the door to the stairs. Luke started to step into the kitchen, but she put out her arm to keep him back. She handed him a plate full of scrambled eggs and bacon. Luke, honey, can you eat sitting on the bottom step there? What? Luke asked. Mother looked beseechingly over her shoulder. Dad thinks, I mean, it's not safe anymore to have you in the kitchen. You can still eat with us and talk to us and all, but you'll be over there. She waved her hand toward the stairs behind Luke. But with the shades pulled, Luke started. One of those workers asked me yesterday, Hey, farmer, you got air conditioning in that house of yours? Dad said from the table. He didn't turn around. He didn't seem to want to look at Luke. We keep the shades pulled, hot day like today. People get suspicious. This way is safer. I'm sorry. And then Dad did turn around and glance at Luke, once. Luke tried to keep from looking upset. So what'd you tell him, Matthew asked, as if the worker's question was only a matter of curiosity. I told him of course we don't have air conditioning. Farming don't make nobody a millionaire. Dad took a long sip of coffee. Okay, Luke, Mother asked. Yes, he mumbled. He took the plate of eggs and bacon, but it didn't look good to him now. He knew every bite he ate would stick in his throat. He sat down on the step, out of sight of both kitchen windows. We'll leave the door open, Mother said. She hovered over him, as if unwilling to return to the stove. This isn't too much different, is it? Mother, Dad said warningly. Through the open windows, Luke could hear the rumble of several trucks and cars. The workers had arrived for the day. He knew from watching through the vent the past few days that the caravan of vehicles came up the road like a parade. The cars would peel off to the side and unload the nicer-dressed men. The more rugged vehicles pulled in on the muddiest sections, and the people inside would scatter to the bulldozers and backhoes that had been left outside overnight. But the vehicles barely had time to get cold, because the workers were there now from sunup to sundown. Someone was in a hurry for them to finish. Luke, I'm sorry, Mother said, and scurried back to the stove. She loaded a plate for herself and then sat down at the table beside Luke's usual spot. His chair wasn't even in the kitchen anymore. For a while, Luke watched Dad, Mother, Matthew, and Mark eating in silence, a complete family of four. Once, he cleared his throat, ready to protest again. You can't do this. It's not fair. Then he choked back the words, unspoken. They were only trying to protect him. What could he do? Resolutely, Luke stuck his fork in the pile of scrambled eggs on his plate and took a bite. He ate the whole plateful of food without tasting any of it.